Today I am going to show you how to get the transmission out of the Honda HRX 217. You're going to need to get both the rear wheels off and then inside the bag chute there's one 10 millimeter bolt that you're going to have to take off. That bolt is right there, the one on the left. Once you get those off, then you can flip it over, get everything on the underside done. So make sure your gas is off, make sure your gas cap is tight, make sure your oil dipstick is tight. Please remove your spark plug, because we will be taking the blades off and rotating the engine. Okay, we're going to start by removing the 14 millimeter bolt that holds the wheel on. When you take these apart, make sure that you put all the parts in order because there's a sequence that they come apart and a sequence that they go back together in. For this you're going to need a 14 millimeter socket, an 8 millimeter socket, and some snap ring pliers. Here's the 10 millimeter bolt we're going to be taking out. On the other side of the bolt, it's a carriage bolt, it's got a square protrusion that goes into a flat piece of metal. This is on the underside of the mower. This is the 10 millimeter nut we just took off. There is a washer. Then on the back side, there's the carriage bolt with the square edges on it. There's the flat piece of metal that locks it in. And then this retainer right here fits in the square on the underside. We'll start out with the snap ring pliers. We've got a couple of snap rings, some spacers and washers in here. So get your first snap ring out. I like to place them in the slots in the wheel one at a time. That way I know the order that they came out of. We've got a large spacer right here. That'll be next. then your drive gear comes off. There's very specific ways your drive gear fits. You want to make sure that no matter what side you're doing, the straight edge, you see there's an elliptical and then there's a straight lip. That straight lip has got to be facing towards the back of the machine. We've got another spacer right here. Another snap ring. Be careful with your snap rings. You don't want to squeeze them too hard. If you do, they could deform. And then you've got one small washer right here. That takes care of the axle portion that actually goes to the transmission. Now the wheel axle. First you've got a wave washer, then you've got a flat washer. Get your 8 millimeter socket, then you can get the dust cover off. There's one side. We'll do the same on the other side next. When you pull this gear off, underneath it, you're going to find a half moon key like that and a spring. Right in that slot. 
don't lose them. Next, we're going to have to take off these two 14 millimeter bolts. This 10 millimeter bolt right here. And right inside there is a 12 millimeter bolt. That will get this cover off. This ring is already detached on the inside. And then we've got six 12 millimeter bolts. I'll show you those in a moment. Okay, as we go to take these metal rings off, you got two long bolts right here. These go up into the engine mount. You'll remove this bolt and this bolt. Don't worry about this one right here. There's a cutout. It'll slip over it. You'll remove this bolt and this bolt. Don't worry about this one. You'll see the cutouts. Once those rings are off, then this cover right here will disconnect. 